our channel. Today we are doing something super fun, my first DIY crafting session here on the channel. If you are new here, my name is Danny, my husband's name is Nick, and together we own Tails Up Pup where we make handmade dog bandanas and bow ties. And behind us is the little sewing setup that we have for our business. We make a lot of YouTube videos about our personal life and our business life. But today we are going to be doing something super fun. So the other day I was scrolling on Instagram, I got an ad for this bobble bar. Let's see, this is it, the bobble bar headband. $35 for this, was not willing to pay that when I thought, hmm, maybe I should try to make it. So if you didn't watch our video, I think it was two videos ago, where Nicholas and I went shopping, we were at the craft store and I saw some items. So today we are going to be recreating the bobble bar headband for, um, well we're gonna end up seeing how much we use, but I got these bows from Michael's and it was, Buy one, get one half off. So one was six and one was three, so $9 if I use the entire thing. Headband was from Hobby Lobby. This was $1.99. So I can basically make this headband for $10. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's gonna turn out perfect like that or not. I have not practiced this yet, so we are going to try it out and see how it goes. First, we gotta take our tag off. So here you go. This looks pretty similar to the bobble bar headband. Now all we have to do is put our bows on here. I These are earrings, so that is part of the problem, is we are going to have to cut these earrings off and glue them onto the headband. So without further ado, let's get into it and start crafting. When we were at Hobby Lobby looking for bows, I was actually looking for actual present bows, but these might work out better if they work and I can cut these earrings off because they're metal so they won't get squished like a regular present bow, bow would. But at Hobby Lobby they had lots of tiny things for tiny Christmas trees and I thought that these could also work. So here are some Christmas lights, here are some bows, maybe even if these aren't too huge, these are presents which are super cute. So I bought three headbands and we are going to try to make not only the bobble bar one but maybe something else maybe ours will turn out cuter I don't know but I'm the most excited about these bow ones so let's try first of all to get the earring back off so we have a couple different options I have plant cutters I have these two different kinds of cutters I'm pretty sure these are pliers but um, down below they have a cutter but these seem to be wire cutters I believe my husband is not here to ask him what tool he would have used so let's see we'll get as close as we can oh got him I have no idea where it went though I wonder if I can get any closer I think I did get closer. I don't know. What should I do? Should I cut them all first? Let's see. Oh my, that's so cute. I didn't glue it on you, obviously, but it fits perfectly. So, I might actually end up using two whole packs. They have a lot more colors in this one. They have pink, blue, green, gold. I only have red, green, and gold. Should I alternate every one or? I don't know. I'm like very a symmetrical person, so doing not symmetrical might drive me nuts. First off, gotta cut all these off though. Perfect. So now I have two, four, six bows here. We might need more, that's why I bought two packs. And let's move all this out of the way so you can see very well. I have my picture here in front of me in case I need to reference it, but we're just gonna kinda go for it. So, I'm going to, I probably need a lot of glue, but I also don't want it to pop, like I don't want you to be able to see it. I hope the glue doesn't melt my earrings either. And I hope this actually sticks to the headband. Like I said, I haven't tried this. So we're kind of all doing this together. Oh no. They're like, still have um, some slight, I know you're not gonna be able to even see it. They have a little bit of the earring back still on there. So I don't think, I don't know, it might work. 
It looks cute. Here we are. Step one. See, I feel like I need to cut all the way, but I can't get all the way. Well, that worked. So I guess we'll just keep trying that. The key is to hold everything still while it's cooling until it's almost, it's gonna hurt your fingers if you're using metal like this because it is hurting me. But we are going to hold it there until it's completely cool, otherwise it will not be secure. This is gonna be so cute, I'm so excited. All right, here we go. How cute. If you wanted to, and I could always come back, but then my colors are gonna be off, but you could add way more. But I kind of like being able to see the black. The problem is the headband that Bobble Bar has and this headband, this one's thinner. So like they were able to like almost zigzag and I have to only put one. That's okay. So I did green, red, gold, so I'm gonna do green again. While we wait for this one to cool, if you are new here, we are doing a giveaway every single day of Vlogmas, and all you have to do is comment whatever I say for that video and your Instagram handle, like this video, subscribe to our channel. So for today's giveaway, comment down below um, a idea that you would have for me to do another DIY because this is so fun and I love crafting and I would love to do this again. So give me an idea of something you would like to see me make and don't forget to put your Instagram handle so we can contact you if you're the winner. And if you're watching this video after the fact and the giveaway is closed, you can still give me a video idea. <laughs> If you are looking for something to make for someone for the holidays, this is a great idea and if this isn't their style, you can make anything. Really go on Pinterest, go on Instagram, look at different hashtags and ideas and crafting is a great way to not only save money, but a lot of people like handmade gifts better because it shows that you put effort into it and it's so unique and like literally no one in the whole world will have the same exact headband that I'm making right now, which is pretty awesome. Here, I think this is our last one. Do, do, do. Once this one dries, we're gonna try it on and see what it looks like. Here we go, final results. And what was that? Like five minutes I feel like it took to make this. I'm gonna come closer so you can really see. Oh my goodness, that is the cutest headband in the whole world. Um, I will have Nicholas when he gets home take some pictures of it so and insert them here so you are able to see exactly what it looks like on. It's so cute though. And this is the brand of headband and it's so comfortable. So if you go to Hobby Lobby and get these headbands, I'm pretty sure they were for kids, but like they fit my head and I have a big head, I feel like. It's so cute. Now, I'm gonna leave this on for the rest of the video. Now that we did this one, let's try some other ones. Which one should we do? I guess you can't tell me, so I get to pick. Let's do the lights. I got these glitter lights, which are so cute. Nicholas was worried that they weren't going to sit right, so he could be accurate or not. That's what it's gonna look like. another super cute perfect headband this one with lights all the way around and I did have to use two packs for this one as well but these lights were let's look at our receipt one dollar and fifty cents each so not too shabby for two dollars and three dollars so that's this is a five dollar headband you could sell this for ten make five dollars off of it sell them to your friends 
or give them as gifts, $5 gift, but it looks like a $20 gift. It is so dang cute. Again, we'll have Nicholas take some pictures and insert them right here. So you can see exactly how cute it really is. I guess I should switch these out so you can see this one even though these clips aren't doing it justice and we will have to show you the pictures. Oh, this is interesting. This one's not as comfortable as this one. But here you go. This is the weirdest video I've ever made because I'm too far from the camera. But the butt one is literally my favorite so I need to put it back on. Now, I should have bought an extra headband and made four but I only have one left and we either have these red bows or these presents. I think the presents would be cuter, but they might be too big. I don't know, that's really cute. They are almost, they fit literally, can you even see that? The width of this present and the width of the headband are the same. So I think we should do the presents. maybe for a tacky Christmas party or something, but it's still super cute. Presents all around. One takeaway I learned while making these is that if you um, really are symmetrical and don't want it to just be a winged kind of thing like I did, you could start with your centerpiece in the middle and then work your way out from both sides. That probably would have been the way to make it the most perfect. I started from one end and worked my way around, but it's still so cute. Let's put this one on. Oh my, this is cute. Okay, here we go, get a little closer. I got presents on my head. It's so fun. Once again, we'll insert some pictures here that Nicholas took of me in this headband so you can see how cute it is. Well guys, that was so easy. It's a super affordable idea for you to make or for yourself or gift for the holidays. You can do literally anything you want to with this type of idea, and you can probably find this stuff even at the dollar store, make it even more affordable. Find some headbands, find some cute little things to glue on there. Gift it to a friend or a family member, or keep it for yourself to wear for the holiday season. Don't forget to enter our giveaway. Comment down below the answer to what I asked earlier. Subscribe to our channel, like this video, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!